child, let me talk to y'all in a way that y'all might understand. And hopefully you guys will not throw a temper tantrum or do any of those things that are really not in the moment. You wonder why things do not work out for you and why you have zero friends? It's because you have zero discipline, buddy. Uh -huh. Somebody got to tell you the truth, especially you, Rinsey. Somebody got to tell you. You have zero friends because you have zero discipline. And this is not just for me. It's for every man child out there. All you man children and woman children. Um, you guys got to grow up. You never listen and... Then you get upset and deflect your emotions when you know that the reason things don't work out is because you don't listen and you don't appreciate. You got to humble yourself and you're probably still living with your mama and your daddy. And you know, do what your mama and your daddy tell you to do. And Enough with the pity party. It's considered talking back. Accept their love. Stop being ungrateful. Accept accountability. I'm really talking to myself, as you can tell. But somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear this. The reason everybody else has friends and they have all those things that they want it's because they paid their dues they behaved they stopped when they were told to stop they did everything mama and dad told them to do mama and pops you know how they are when they tell you something you don't question it you just gotta stay still Accept it for what it is and do it and listen to them. Because if you don't, I had to learn the hard way that it has to go to another level that you don't want it to go to. And I realized, yeah, I wasn't raised to be so disrespectful. And that pretending to have a lack of discipline when I was raised the right way really was unbecoming. And that you know how I started to get the things that I want? I started honoring my mother and my father. I started doing what they tell me to do. I'm still working on it, but... I'm really getting there. I mean, I, I didn't care, and that's the problem with us man children. We don't care. And then you can't handle it when you get constructive criticism. That's supposed to be where you take accountability for your actions. I had to learn that hard way. I'm expecting new friends now. I mean, I used to be scared to be alone. Being alone really doesn't hurt. Being lonely doesn't hurt. But you know that God gave you 
one mouth, two ears, and two loving Christian parents, you need to act like you know. And you need to humble yourself and start listening. It's time to get humble. You guys keep making the same mistakes. And you really hurting yourself being hard-headed. And it's a heavy bill that you got to pay for not handling your business. Everyone else handled their business. But you, you the youngest and you don't care. You, like, how, how is that? I don't know where you get that from. Especially myself. I don't know where I get that from being the youngest and not giving a damn. What you, what you don't care for? Why are you being ungrateful? You got to honor your mama and your daddy. When they tell you something, you do it, okay? Because if you don't, that's how, you know. I feel really alone sometimes. You know? People could tell more than what you, you know, you know, you might display at school or out in public, more than what you may see, they may see in you, they see the way you conduct yourself at home. And that's why, that's how I lost all my friends. They can tell, you know, the way I was conducting myself at home. And that's why Emmanuel Thomas got exposed, you know, for how he treats his mama. And yeah, I've gotten in trouble for disrespecting my mama. I wonder if he's in Newark or something. Is he, is Emmanuel Thomas in Newark or something? Because I didn't realize this when I was 16 and I was blind for seven years for um, how people would see me. And I was not raised the way I was acting. It, it's probably where Emmanuel Thomas is right now. You know, I don't think he's an adult yet. I think he's 16. But man, children, grow up, take responsibility Humble yourself and listen to your mama and your dad. Just listen to, to the people around you that want you to succeed. And everything will go smooth. Everything will be fine. I already had some mac and cheese right now. I just had mac and cheese. I'm going to go take a shower. You know, but um, I just want you to know that all of you being spoiled and getting upset that because things didn't work out, it's because it's not because of the devil, it's because you don't listen, and you need to work on that and humble yourself before God and listen. I had to learn the hard way, but thankfully. I started getting the things that I want. I met a lot of celebrities over these five years virtually. You know, I even before, even when I was in high school, you know, I live streamed meeting Jerry Stiller. It was awesome. Watching him on news12.com. I just met, I had met Jerry Stiller before he died. It's not easy. It's, but God's, even though life was bitter to me, God was still good. Even though I've hit walls, you know, I still believed in his word, and God got me out every time. Anyway, I'm going to go take a shower. Good night, everybody.